Hi everybody, I thought I would give a frugal February no spend month update and so I want to tell you that if you don't know me, my name is Courtney Robinson. This is my lifestyle channel on living a purposeful life and living an intentional life and I just try to be myself so therefore no fancy makeup or hair today, it's you just get me. <laughs> so if you like this channel, like and subscribe and I would appreciate it. I started this channel just basically for documenting things and helping things. I'm a teacher and so um, I'm a medical yoga therapist and I own a yoga school, but I've also been um, very involved in simple living and frugal living and I have voluntarily taught voluntary simplicity for years actually facilitated. It's like a book club. And so I find that I love to share tips and tricks and hints and things to live a more simple, intentional life. But that often goes along with frugality because frugality leads to freedom. So I am certainly not perfect and I use a lot of self-imposed restrictions on myself to learn and to challenge myself to learn more. And so this month we decided to do a frugal February. Now I had done a no spend challenge for a year specifically on clothes, shoes, purses, jewelry, and books, and it went really well. I had one slip up um, during that time, which was just a habit, just one of those things where you pick something up and you pay for it and you don't even think it. And that was early on. It was a magazine on simple living. And then I, um, my husband purchased me a pair of shoes last year because we were going on a trip and I absolutely looked for months for a pair of used appropriate shoes that I needed for this trip and couldn't find them. So as a gift, my husband purchased them for me. So those were the only two areas last year where you could say I kind of you know, maybe messed up a little, but the point is really more in the awareness. And so I have found this frugal month to be actually harder than my frugal year. And I'm gonna tell you why. One thing is because it is just only on necessities and not on anything else. And so a couple of factors I didn't figure in and I wish I had done, I saw this, I wanna say her name is The Chic Frugal Life. I, I'd love to give her credit, but I cannot remember right now. But she said during the month of February, instead of spending, doing a no spend month, choose one week to do a no spend week and only purchase necessities. So you would pay your bills and your food and your gas, but beyond things that were necessary, you wouldn't. And I wish I had done that because, man, this has been a hard month. I had a lot of things already planned on the calendar that I didn't feel like, for instance, I had bartered massages, so I didn't have to pay for the massage, but I wouldn't want to not leave a tip. And so I left a tip. I um, The only other things is I purchased a cookbook that I felt like would save me more money than I spent. It was a $9 cookbook and they donated one to someone who couldn't afford it. And it definitely saved me about 40% at the grocery store this week. The other thing was I was out um, earlier in the month and I got um, my hairdresser accidentally spilled color on my shirt and I did not have time to drive home. We live way out on a farm before I had to go to work. So I pulled into Old Navy and bought a t-shirt on sale for $14. Um, and that was kind of one of those unavoidable things. But what it has shown me, and many of you know who have followed me, is that I've had quite the health scare. They thought I might have cancer. I have um, masses growing in my neck. Turns out it doesn't look like it's cancer, but I'm not going to have it taken out. I'm going to wait and see if it will go away on its own or if it will not get worse. Um, and then I also could not pass a stress test. I was having some heart issues. And so I buckled down with my health and my personal care. I didn't, I didn't drink a lot before, but I was drinking maybe two or three glasses of wine a month. I quit drinking wine. I've gotten off of coffee and I'm just doing green tea. I started meditating regularly, exercising a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say more, but just consistently and um, really cleaned up my diet. Even though I already had a really clean diet, I have been completely sugar-free since August, 
on a low carb, lowish kind of meat, moderate, healthy fat diet. And it looks like all of that's finally working. I passed a stress test last week. Um, I got the all clear on the cancer. I have a couple of leaky valves, but anyway, my point about all that is, is money, time, and your emotions when you're hungry, angry, tired, lonely, and how you feel has such a direct impact on how you spend money. I'm involved in Al-Anon, which is a subsidiary group of AA for the family members of people who, ha who have alcoholics or addicts in their life. And one thing we talk about there, and, and I'm also trained in 12-step of medical yoga therapy, 12-step programming. And one thing we talk about is when you're hungry, angry, tired, lonely, or sad, how you can often make poor choices and you shouldn't make choices at that time. Well, I find that that is so true with money too. Last week when I had my stress test, I had a violent reaction. I, you know, I didn't spend any money, but I just threw a 20 at my husband to get me some soda because I needed something fizzy. Um, and, uh, it's just been a hard month. I haven't like gone out and spent and I'm not lamenting, but if you saw my last post, I was, I think I posted it. I may not have, I may have deleted that video, but I was going to change my attitude and start just being really grateful. I heard something online about instead of bemoaning what you don't have, start thinking about what you do have. And I do have a gratitude practice every day. But I realized with money, I have kind of a bit of a scarcity mindset because I was raised that way. And so I started just re really thinking, and, and also the past couple of months, a lot of money was going out. I won't go into all of that. If you watch my other videos, you'll know why. Kids, we have grown young adult kids that are in transition that we've been helping. We have... Um, had a lot of doctor bills, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, you know, I just started really like thinking, no, I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to be grateful that I had the money to do this. We're on baby step six. We're paying off the mortgage and, um, we're trying to do that within the next two years. So we've kind of halted everything else. I probably will put some money in my IRA this year. I'm not sure right now, but long story short, I've just discovered that being sick and also just trying to do a month and not really feeling good, working a lot. I'm on my second 20 day work streak right now. And that was probably a really bad time for me to do this. What I have done is I've had a lot of just no spend days. And so um, I look at my calendar and I look at days where, because I work 20 days straight, I'll have, um, and don't feel too sorry for me. I only work like five hours a day, but well, I'll work on the weekends. I'll work like 12 hour days. And then during the weeks, I'll work about four or five hours, but I do that 20 rows straight. And then I'll have a couple of days off. I'll work five days. I'll have a couple of days off. I'll work five days and then I'll work 20 days again. And so that's just a really hard it's really hard and it's really hard when you go out. So anytime I have a day off, I try to plan to be home. Because for one thing, I live a long way from anything. I live like 25 miles out of town. And so I just try to focus on if I am going to have to get my hair cut or if I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store or I need to run errands, I try, or even have lunch with a friend, I try to batch everything together. I try to batch my work um, and my errands along with seeing friends, and it helps a lot with gas and spending. I hope this wasn't too much of a rant, but I'll just consider it a riff, right? And that mean, and that a good word for rant these days? But yeah, it's been a hard no spend February, and I would love to hear how you guys are doing because I don't feel like I've done great. I haven't been terrible, but I feel like I could have done better if I felt better and life weren't so complicated. All right. Thank you so much. Please share if you like this and I appreciate you being here.